from pound 75,07410. The ultimate non-motorsport 911 is now available in the UK with the Manuel gearbox. Does it offer pure driving pleasure? What is it? In theory, this is the ultimate normal 911 for those focused on the provision of pure driving pleasure, before the range takes a big step up in both price and concept into the uncompromised realm of the Porsche Motorsport developed GT series of 911s. The GTS range mirrors that of all lesser 911s and is therefore available with coupe, cabriolet or target bodywork, rear wheel drive or four wheel drive and manual or paddle shift gears. Also, the PASM suspension management and Loward Sports suspension that are options on cheaper 911s are here in standard form. What's it like? Drive another GTS, but with four-wheel drive, a PDK gearbox and a target body, and it's not like you are driving another kind of 911, but another kind of car altogether. This car is as different in character from that car as is that car to a Panamera and not just because the Targa is an enormous 135 kilograms heavier than the coupe. Should I buy one? Financially, just adding the power kit and suspension modifications to a Carrera S brings you to within a few hundred pounds of the GTS's list price, without the wide body, center lock wheels and visual enhancements that are not on the options list. In short, if you're in the market for a non-motorsport 911, don't ask yourself why you should buy a GTS, but answer a far more difficult question instead, why you should not. Porsche 911 GTS Location Exmoor Price £95,795 Engine 6 Sills Horizontally Opposed, 2981cc, Twin Turbo Petrol power 444 bhp at 6,500 revolutions per minute torque 405 pounds foot at 2,150 revolutions per minute 0 to 62 miles per hour 4.1 seconds top speed 193 miles per hour gearbox 7 SPD manual curb weight 1,525 kilograms economy 30.1 miles per gallon combined. CO2 212 grams slash km, 37% rivals Jaguar F-Type R, Aston Martin V8 Vantage, 